Hello Super GT viewers here. We have arrived in 2020. Daily races, different decade, same awful penalties, same ramming. Let's get on with it. And what do we have? Um, Tokyo Expressway in the Toyota 86. Group 3 at Interlagos for the billionth time. And Group 2 at Fuji for the billionth time. Ah, right. Different year, same races. I'm going to jump into um, race B, as is the tradition. I'm on Ram Shadow. I haven't qualified. Should I qualify for this race or start at the back for the bants? Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Firebird, for becoming a member on the channel. Much appreciated. Start the back, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Merc. Play it, play it safe, race one. I'm going to start at the back for this one. They will qualify in a minute. We'll qualify later. Let's just have one from the back. 
Yeah, the GTR is not a bad shout circuit. Well, you've got, got a bit of time here. The GTR is a solid choice because it's so quick in a straight line around this track. Not so good for the twisty bit, but then if you want to go past people, you can definitely overtake that thing. But yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to 2020. It's exactly the same as 2019, to be honest seeing any different i'm not a changed person i don't feel any different um i'm you know we have a guy called r4m death chicken tenth on the leaderboard how about that yeah the gtr is it's so quick and straight obviously you have to compromise something and look I think Eric's gonna hit us. Pretty hazy uh, dollar donation. Thank you very much. Righty. Um, let's just jump around quick. Right, let's see if we can do a 31, like, first lap. Wait, am I qualifying? I'll try and pause it just before I cross the finish line. Yeah, I went to go, um, got a haircut today. Went to a new place. Pretty pleased with the result. Thank you very much. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white fight. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Gabrielle. Good luck with you, Will, man. Have fun. I think it's sent to the Shadow Realm. That's my number one tip. Jeff Cannon, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Oh my god, so unsteer for you there. Oh, it's under really unsteer. What's the best group three car for this track? Uh, the Audi R8 is the quickest, but it's, it's tricky to drive. 32. God, that was a crap lap. Um, haircut in preparation for being drafted for World War Three. Is World War Three happening? I've been hit. What is this trend? I've been hearing this on uh, Twitter all day. People talking about World War Three. Is it? Is it going to kick off? Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Dusty, for becoming a member on the channel. Very much. Um, as long as the British Army has a role for sim racing drivers. Get it. Yeah, Lewis. Hopefully they need Gran Turismo sim drivers. I can do that. World War Three. Mr. Cushionator, 420, 420 blaze it. Go faster. Okay, I had a look on the internet, and this was on it. That is, that is solid advice, to be fair. Ruin Silver. Uh, donation didn't come up on the screen for some reason. Uh, uh, donated 549 euro. Love the content, mate. Keep it up. Thank you very much, man. I'll be a drone pilot. I, I suppose that's about as close as you can get, really, isn't it? Like a simulation behind, behind the screen of a... Being a drone pilot must be really weird. Like, you've got these guys sitting at some desk in the United States bombing someone in Syria 10,000 miles away and then pack up and go home. Your wife and kids. Such a, such a weird thing. But yeah, hopefully I can do that. Love to, love to bomb people, yeah. Italian lizard on the track. America versus Iran. 
Oh, is this thing about uh, Donald Trump saying that Barack Obama would start a war with Iran? Um, yeah. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Thank you, Louis. Uh, just found your channel and binge watched so much. Um, yeah, I mean, videos of like on my channel now. It's a lot. It's okay, like I had a look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa! I think I've got about 1,300 videos or something. Thank you very much, Asiorin. Um, I hope you won't have the ABS bug with... Uh, yeah, it's really annoying. So, I mean, I've mentioned this in the last couple of streams. So, basically, you get this thing where... Normally, with ABS default, your tyres don't lock up. You don't have to worry about that. You can just slam the pedal. Sometimes, on, on the race, it will change to ABS off. ABS off. It changed ABS ABS off, so you have to threshold brake, so you can't slam the brake. Um, you can drive around it, but it's just annoying to deal with. Especially going to the first corner, you don't know if you've got the bug or not. But there is a way around it, I think. Every time I go into the um, the warm up, it doesn't seem to do it. I think do the warm up, and there is an another way, which is uh, turn it off Honestly, and on. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Thank you, Mr. Ankit Mishra. Currently doing 134 into Lagos Daily Race B. First week ever playing this game. Is that good? Um, 134? Yeah, I mean, look at the times here. I mean, the top people into the 30s, but that's very difficult. Um, 31 for, like, most people who are quite experienced with the game. For 34, if you're just starting out, I think that's all right. You're just starting. Keep improving. You, you can get there. And it's worth improving on this track because it comes up every five minutes. The R4M members, Wally Wombat, Ikuo, Ultimate, Iron Brew GTS, Fly, Meon Pie, Hooper, Pork GT, R4M Shadow Realm, hell yeah. The Shadow Realm is actually racing. Imagine going to turn one with R4M Shadow Realm in your rearview anyway, mirror. I went on the internet this week and I found this. That's quite a sight, isn't it? Nara Nara. Thank you very much. Becoming great fan. Hashtag blessed. Great fans. I have the best fans. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Mingling Lee. Become unmanned tank driver, Super GT. I'm a dive bomb, my squad leader. From London, XD. Unmanned. So it's basically like a drone, but a tank. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Lucas Andrew, thank you very much. In, 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 Lewis. It's weird, like, wars... It's not going to be people just shooting each other or, like, hit, like, whatever. It'll just be people... Imagine, like, a war, United States versus Iran. No person will actually fight against each other, shoot each other. It'll just be a load of people sitting in an office with drones. Anyway, look. Shooting each other. Shooting the drones. I went on the internet this week and I found this. The American drones will shoot the Iranian drones and then the Iranian tanks will shoot the American tanks. Then they have battleships which are just controlled by, controlled by a pilot sitting in an office in America. It'll just be purely a virtual war. No actual person will die. Um, thank you, Battleaxe Bacon. Um, then... Get Thank you, Christian. Very much. Very much, man. I was just looking at videos of the of the relative spending of um, different militaries. The US is just ridiculous. <laughs> don't don't mess with the United States, mate. Don't want to mess with them. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Did you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> control braking. Yeah, there we, there we go, mate. Yeah, control braking definitely helps. Um, depends on the corner, of course, and the car, but... Um, in this kind of race, is good. Especially. Um, the problem with trail braking is that it uh, wears out your tyres. Um, but in this race, there's no tyre wear, so you don't have to wipe. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. 
Gra Foster. <laughs> Those are all the, the anime characters. All the anime characters of the Super GT channel. I think Wi-Fi password is. I think Eric's gonna hit us. Wi-Fi password is the most powerful anime character. So you're saying wars will become esports, yeah. And here we have the US Navy sponsored by G Fuel. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. And they're going up against Gatorade Iranian Air Force in today's fight. Oof. Thank you, Oof, for the donation, mate. And it's lights out. And There's a giant lizard on the track. Thank you, Sota Miller. Here's man. Austria, yeah. The Austrian Air Force, the Austrian Army just sponsored by Red Bull. They'd have quite a big budget. Did you rock Brown? Yeah, man, there's so much punting. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, Lock Guard. Hi to you. Hi, Lock Guard. Thank you very much, mate. All right, let's go. Race one of the night. Oh, race one of live streams 2020. One position. Let's try and get in the top ten. Might be quite tricky. Oh, there's people going off already. Oh, he's kicking off up there. Oh, that's about five abreast there. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Cheers, Chris Everingham. Everingham. We're becoming a member. Oh, four second penalty. This penalty system is. Oh, sorry. That's going to give me a 10 second penalty. Yeah, okay. This was on. Whoa! Thank you very much for that one as well. Oh, Quinton's in here as well. Um, what will? It depends on your budget, really. You can afford a CSL Elite. I think that's a good option. Plus, Master TGT is good. Oh, it's getting messy in here, boys. Calm my inside. What is going on? Trying to give people space. <laughs> oh, someone's wide back there. Um, but yeah, I mean, really depends on your budget. A lot of people ask me that, but I don't know how much money you have. If you have a million pounds, then just buy a direct drive wheel. Oh, hello. <laughs> Picking off here. These two got penalties. A bit late. Here you go. Hey, yeah. Quint is my number one stream sniper. I'll have to punt him off in a minute. Oh, yellow flag. Going on. Got Olympic behind me. Oh, God, deep. Got Olympic behind me. He's quick. Oh, it's Edu from second. Drop down to eighth. Okay, a couple of these guys ahead are pretty quick now, so gaining any more positions is actually going to be quite tough. Also, got Olympic behind me is quick, so. Oh! Just as I say, he spins off. Gets reset, sent back in time by the Terminator. I'm a cybernetic organism sent back in time because I cut a corner. He's in the Peugeot. Peugeot's actually not too bad around here. Stream sniping an issue? Um, it can be. It just depends what the person does. I mean, 
sprinting. As long you know, as long as people just race properly, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, if if someone's going to come in and just ram me off, then you know that's a problem. But people don't really do that actually. So luckily. Just Mario. So yeah, Prius, man. They should do a Prius Group 3 car, I reckon. Oh, someone else is off. We gain that position. What? Yeah, that's eighth. We're in the top half from last. Okay, this is on, boys. I'm doing it. Deal with that, mate. Let's come on, sixth place. It's a tight battle for the lead if you look at the map. So, never know. They could send each other to the shadow realm. Uh, zero traction control, yes. You don't really want traction control in group three. Or group or in most groups to be honest. For anyone who's struggling to learn TCS off, I'd Recommend going to Group 4 and practicing it there. I think Group 4 is actually quite easy to practice with zero TCS. Most of the cars aren't powerful enough to like really slide out. Uh, TCS off in Forza 7. It depend again, it depends on the car. Um, most of the time it's better to have it off but sometimes you get into the really fast cars and then it's actually better to have it on in some cars most of the time it's better off though I'm a 31.6 in the race that's not too bad I do have this Porsche who's quite quick behind me now I haven't actually done I haven't done uh, race uh, C yet, so I know it's Fuji Group Two, which has come up loads of times before. But I'm gonna have to re refresh my memory on on how to do that race, the, the strategy. This guy's pretty close now. And that Porsche is really good to it. Miracles do happen, mate. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rory. <laughs> no worries, man. And yeah, happy to happy New Year to you, Rory. Oh god, that's an awful line. I don't know if he's going to go for the move. Okay, seventh. And my ABS is on default. Seventh. Okay, I'll take that. From last. That'll do nicely. And the 911 is good around here, it's really planted. The R8 is harder to drive, but I think it's, it's quicker to drive it right. But it's just tricky to drive, especially in the slipstream as well. Okay, that will do. That was not too bad a race. I'll qualify for the next one. Try and race it from the front. I'll save that replay because there's quite a few interesting things. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. 
If you drive any Group 3 car, which would it be? I assume you mean real life. Um. Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Probably, probably the Porsche. The 911 RSR. I wouldn't mind having to go in one of them. Okay. R08 is the one I want. Uh, did you not use assist when you played on the DS4? Um, what did I use? I mean, right at the beginning, I was using a bit of traction control. ABS default. I always had counter steer off. Actually, no, for the first few months, I had counter steer assist on. I felt like it was really fiddly on the controller, like just steering in general. So, counter steer I had on right at the beginning for a few months. And I'll turn that off. I can't really remember exactly. I have to go back on the videos. Um... Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Thank you very much. It's Retlig. Quality channel. Quality comment, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, um, the how I became a full-time racing game YouTuber video. I think that was a, it was a good time to make that video. Just got past 300,000. Been full-time for a year and a half. Um, I think it was, it was a good time to make it. Plus, it was just before New Year's. My New Year's video, or looking back at 2019 video, was a, I didn't have much time to make it, so it was a bit rushed. But Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to qualify for this one, but I'm not going to be able to get a quick lap time straight away. What are we looking at? Anything sub 90 seconds, I think. Hey, Thank you again, Mr. Mishra. Um, for the inter and it's lights out. And a giant on the, the Interlagos race, the R8, I think, is the quickest car. Either that or the Huracan, but they're just they're just difficult to drive. Um, but they they have the highest potential. And uh, thank you, was it uh, organization there? Logitech G29 with the T300 RS. I mean, I've never used the T300 RS, but to be honest, I don't think you can go too wrong with either of those. In a while since I've done a Group 2 race. Weird enough, as it's called Super GT in real life, and I don't think anyway, we'll race these cars. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Cheers to Pansy79 for becoming a member. Welcome along, mate. Thank you very much. Oh man, this hairpin causes so much carnage in the race. Get to ruined silver. What's your dream car? Um, yeah, it's a good question. If I have, I, I always split this into two. I, I have like an unrealistic dream car. Which would be the Koenigsegg uh, Yesco, like a car that I would just simply never be able to afford, ever. But I have like a more realistic dream car, which would be the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. A car, obviously still loads of money, but it's somewhat possible to maybe get one of them if you like you won the lottery or something. But, um, but yeah, I'll anyway, go with those. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, 666 Counterforce, for becoming a member. Loving the number. Number of the Shadow Realm. Oh, God, that's wide. Penalty. Thank you indeed. What do I get for Christmas? Um, oh, I can't even remember now. Not nothing exciting to be honest. I think my best gift was um, I got Adrian Newey's um, book, How to Build a Car, which is pretty interesting. Reading some of that today.
Oh, I'm really messing this up, big time. Let's go two seconds quicker. Yeah, wait, am I, I'm on the wrong tires, aren't I? I was going to say, why am I so far off? Um... <laughs> what are you like, mate? <laughs> There's a whole softer compound available. You Egypt, mate. An absolute Egypt. Bruh. <laughs> That's one of those, yeah. Bruh. That sums that up quite well. Give me your Mr. Presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Alvaro. Thank you very much, man, for that donation. Let me just finish this lap and I'll read out some of these donations in just a moment, but I haven't got much time here to finish a lap. Thank you for that one as well. Again, wait, let me just finish this lap and then. Oh, that was much better. So, for those who've done this race, it's. it's Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the one five. Stay cool. We're in a good position. What is it? It's a two stop, isn't it? Medium, medium, medium. Was it one stop? I can't even remember. Thank you, Ruin Silver. Early. Okay, let's see what this is. It's a one stop. Me medium than hard. But you have to use both. 8.5, okay. Not bad for a first lap. Penalise someone who just sent himself to the shadow realm. Yeah, I think with regards to the, so you have to use both tires. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Toss a coin to your bad driver. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A coin to your richer. Um, yeah, I think it really depends on where you start in the race. If you're, if you're at the front, sometimes you'd better, better use medium. <laughs> I'll near the back. Yeah. Yeah, those donations. R Ruin Silver. I would also go for the Jesco as not so realistic one. The more realistic one, I'll go for the Nissan GTR. Good choice. Alvaro Garcia as a Spaniard. A small pay uh, payback for the Spanish rams you've faced until today. Um, Trampy, love the videos. Any chance you could do a one uh, a vid one day on your thought process where you're looking? My car control is okay. This is something I was looking at. Um, I was looking at an eye tracker. Some people have done these videos, but I'm not sure about one for PS4. I want to get one of those eye trackers so you can see where I'm looking. I think that'd be a really interesting video. Um, thank you, Eamon, why are you qualifying on the hards? Yeah, I got there in the end on that one. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get one of these eye trackers. I need to find one that works um, on PlayStation. Yeah, I could do one on iRacing, I guess. It would be the same kind of thing. I'd like to do one on Gran Turismo. Okay, so, oh I see, okay, so the uh, uh, tyre requirement, you have to use hard at some point. I think Ericsson hit us. Thank you for the sex, Carl Box. 
Steve, your bit about your background was really cool. I'm a huge fan and hope you keep up and stick to Gran Turismo Sport. By the way, no one likes Greta. Cheers from Sweden and Sumo. Honestly, Sumo what Snow. the f are we doing here? Thank you, Broken Bear. It's broken. Have a great year, matey. A boy in life, karting and on stream. Matey boy. Maybe you could find a partner too. I know a single goat. <laughs> Mate, I love goats. You know me. Find me a goat. <laughs> oh, what am I? I can't change my tyres now. I'll go with whatever I've got. I mean, I'm not that bothered. Okay. We'll just go with whatever. Yeah, the whole Greta thing, I mean... I understand... I don't like the way that she... conveyed her message. So I think she is going to lead a very good life. A life, like, she said, like, she's take, we've taken her future, but, like, he's going to live a great life. Doesn't need to worry about that, but... We do need to look after the environment, I mean... I'm going to be more attacking in this race, then. Than defensive at the end. ABS glitch. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to get it now, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, that probably wasn't a good idea commenting on Greta, was it? Oh yeah, I've got the, I've got the glitch. The threshold break this whole race. Oh, the joys. Oh, that's medium versus hard tyres for you. Slaughtered him around the outside. Get ruined, mate. Oh, it's all kicking off down here. Oh, of course they're going <laughs> to dive in from that far back. Oh, he's backing off. Where is he? He's still there. That's my space there, bro. So annoying having to brake differently. I don't even know. I think someone saved the penalty and then they got caught up in each other. I think that's what happened. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to Shadow Run. Send it. Solid advice. Is Matt Foster down? I think these guys are medium tyre runners. Obviously, a lot of those guys back there are on hard, so I should be able to, I should have got past them quickly. Oh god! Almost hit him there. I like his NASCAR livery. Oh, someone else just slid wide there. Well, no slipstream, unfortunately, here. Fuel. Yeah, fuel's away. Right. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Charles, for becoming a member. 
Welcome to the channel, my friends. It almost seems as though this ABS glitch is a simple case of if you don't go out for the warm up, you're probably going to get it. As I'm still in the slipstream when I serve this penalty. Oh, right. Oh, man. Bit annoying. That's all over base. Thank you, Kevin. Do it for Dale. Full send for Dale. That's a good mantra to live your life by. Oh, I'm just going to get a penalty for that, probably. Oh, that's... Oh, the hell. The French guy's drifting around the outside. That's not a good send. Did it for Dale. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, organization, for becoming a member. Yeah, it'd be great if they added DTM. I'm not sure that will ever happen. That will ever happen, but... It would be great to have more cars in Group 2, because it's quite an empty class, to be honest. Only six... Is it six? There's six cars in this class? Oh, I'll keep it in. I was racing um, Jan Mardenborough a few days ago. I forgot what his new gamer tag is, but I realised I was racing him a few days ago. So here's the guy who won GT Academy like eight years way, ago. Uh, you will be sent to Shadow Run. Thank you, Lord. Hello, viewers. Super GT here. Yeah? How many t laps are we going on these tyres? These are dying now. Struggling. The grip. We're going in now. Everyone going in now, looks like. Five on the mediums, eight on the hard. I'm doing it. Try and get an undercut on some of those guys. Lizard on the track. 
Oh my god. Right L with the 300. Jesus Christ, man. Oof. I don't need good luck if I've just been donated $300 uh, euros. Major oof. I reckon I could buy a giant lizard with that money. Thank you so much, man. I mean... Miracles do happen, mate. Miracles do happen, mate. Yeah, and I'll have a pint on you. Thanks very much, man. Much appreciated. And... If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, Ruin Silver, again. Oh, I love this track. It's, um, it's one that's... I've never been a massive fan of it. Oh, God. I'm still not. To be honest, but <laughs> but I'm getting. I think once I get better at a track, I enjoy it more. So one day. Thank you very much, Counter Four. Oh, Atomics with the penalty and the bottle. I would love to have a one v one against Lewis. Albon versus Lewis. Um, Albon versus Hamilton. The redemption. Oh my god, you guys anyway, tonight. Look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Mega donations. 300 euro from Right L. What a guy. OBT, becoming a member as well. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to look on the internet. This is Whoa! Thank you, Ankit, once again. Matt Foster drinks on Steve, yeah. Right, I'll, I'll bet I'll get I've got 3,800 people in it. I'll go to my nearest bar. 3,800 oh, pints, please. please. What the f are we doing here? Jason Copes for the donation. Packet of Ringos. Is that the cheaper cousin of discos more second penalty for this guy see ya I'm in fifth did I pit too early I'm just Stay sure. cool. We're bringing you the one prize. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Ollie Felton. Hey, you can't beat that, can you? Friday night, a curry, a beer, and a Super GT live stream. I mean, you are living life to the max, absolute maximum. You can't do better than this. Like your your life is peaking before your very eyes. You'll look back at this on your deathbed and you'll be like, yeah, 3rd of January 2020. Oh, what, a, what a day that was. When I watched Super GT. Yeah, they are, man. I've got to say it. I mean, massive thank you to everyone. And, of, of course, especially Rypel. 300. I mean, Rob Brown, he gave 250. Um, I think it was like a week ago. That was the biggest donation I've ever had. And then, boom. In comes the big bucks, the 300. Out of nowhere. And it's lights out! And There's a giant lizard on the track. Thank you, Rick Van, for the donation there, man. Yeah, just trying to be really smooth here. Just make sure these tyres last as long as possible. French guy's still quite close, but not really threatening too much. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. 
It's Rose Silver again, man. For another donation. Buy some new... Yeah, I do need some, actually. Quite frustratingly, I... Um, I ripped my 787B socks. Which is absolutely tragic. I cried for about 10 days straight when I did that. I'll buy some new ones. I much appreciate Mr. Silver. Very, very nice of you. I'm trying to be as smooth as possible on these tyres. Thank you, David Bodis. Yeah. I, I I just had to put it in because I did the first edit where I overtook him. And then I did the, is his career over? And I thought, wait, there were some big reactions on his stream. We've got, we got to include those. It had to go in. Oh, f Mr. Rontal Tap. <laughs> Jesco Fund. Well, if everyone, if everyone in the chat donates 300, <laughs> I'll buy a Jesco tomorrow. Probably won't even be enough, will it? Thank you, the Irish man. The Irishman. Much appreciated, mate. Get <laughs> Thank you, Robert. My God, I can't keep up with all these. Exactly, mate. You're living the best life on a Friday evening as well. I just wonder if it's worth... Is it worth going in for another stop? Anyway, look. I went on the internet Hello. and I found this. Thank you, Bexy. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Um, it's probably not worth going in now, is it? I've got, got 5.8 seconds of the guy behind on these tyres which are dying. Three laps to go. I've got to just hold him off at two seconds a lap and I should be able to stay in seven. It's getting really hard, especially with this ABS bug. This ABS glitch is so annoying. Let's cut that more. Where did I start? 16th? It's not too bad to get up to 7th, I guess. I would like to watch the replay though and see what the top guys are doing in terms of strategy. Just dropping away from those guys ahead, but I've still got six seconds behind. Okay, yeah, so the game gives you weak ABS rather than default. It just means you can't slam the pedal, you have to... If you look at my brake bar, just to the left of the speed, Like, I'm not quite pushing it all the way. Oh, sixth place had a bit of a moment there. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Another member. Thank you so much, man. A bit of a donation mem membership train going on today. Starting off the year the right way. Starting off the decade the right way. Keep it on, keep it on. That is a bit better.
I just wish that they could get a bit more creative with the daily races. Because like, daily, uh, daily race B and C, we've had so many times. Group 2 at Fuji, Group 3 at Interlagos. I mean, they're both alright, but it's just, there's so many other tracks they could do. I mean, Group 3 Interlagos, how many times have we had that? Like, 10? So many tracks they could have instead of that. It's a good track, but... Give us other ones. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Oh, that's wide. Thank you, Alec. Michael. Any more iRacing content? Um, I can't promise anything, but I I definitely want to do... It's broken! It's broken! Anti-stall. It's off. I definitely want to do the um, you know, the big endurance races at least. I want to get into more of those. I did the Spa 24 hour last year and I, I kind of enjoyed that. So more of those for sure. Um, I would like to play it more for sure. Um, the one that interests me, the series that interests me is the, um, the BMW Fixed. That looks quite interesting. I do like the Fixed ones because there's no setup to do. So maybe I have to jump into some of them. Thank you, um, Mr. Mishra, again. Yeah, can anyone help in chat? I, I'm not sure how, to, how you actually change your it's PSN. Broken. It's broken! Anti-stall! Oh. Fuck! Go for the sixth, uh, I'm just a bit off, unfortunately. I think I pitted in one lap too early. Maybe, but... There we go. Mission seven. 19 seconds off the lead. Yeah, I just want to do these special endurance races. I think those are good fun. We've I mean, got Daytona. Stay cool. We're bringing you the white fire. So stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Espen. Fun to watch a real pro, uh, pro as always. Well, not quite a, a real pro. I'm a, I'm a faker, wannabe. But um, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. Seventh. Kind of went quiet the second half of that race. Not much going on. I had number seven on the car, finished seventh, so that'll do. Righty then, save that replay. It's a time. Let's jump into race A. I think that's going to be a fun one. Last last week's race A was pretty good because um, it was the VW Golf at Nurburgring. Honestly, what the pretty, f are we doing that here? That's pretty good fun. Thank you, Josh Wilson. Here's to a great 2020. You can put this towards the next level V3 motion platform. Thanks for the laughs. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's lights out. And there's a giant lizard on I'm the not train. sure my, my neighbours below me would like that. Now that I earn some money, I can give back to uh, back to those I've enjoyed watching for quite some time. Next step, getting a PS4 and GTS. Have a good one, man. Okay, I Boom. had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! Laying down the 69er. Thank you so much. Um, Grunner, cact Grunner Cactus. Grunner Cactus. Thank you, Inix Noise. Um, watching the Philippines at 5 a.m. I was about to sleep. Screw it. Love your bids. Yeah, man. Screw sleep when you could watch Super GT. Big shout out to all my Filipino fans out there. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Oh, is that the same message? LA Nakpil. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry. Um, that mixed up. Oh, Inix said, um, change from miles per hour to kilometer hours on purpose. Um, yeah, so in the last live stream, someone asked me just to do a race in kilometers per hour. Um, so I just did that. And then I kind of just left it on there, to be honest.
Okay, so race eight. I mean, to be fair, this, this week's races are all right. They're not too bad, but it's just a bit repetitive. That's, that's the problem. Okay, I haven't got many not many friends have bothered with this one. This is going to be an SR killer, I think. I think Ericsson hit us. Laying down the, the 69er. There we go, 69 knocks. Thank you, Eric Alexander Svercolt. Sorry if I butchered your name there, but I appreciate the 69er, mate. Let's get that TCS off. Oh, it's this circuit. Yeah, this is going to be absolute SRB0 after this. Oh, I'm guessing the penalties are going to be shocking. This is what the Ram Shadow account is for, after all. I do like this circuit, but... I think this, this is the best Tokyo track. Oh, God. Just as I say, it's all good and I crash. Five second penalty, incoming. It's a yoke. It's a big yoke. Yeah, that, that reflection on the bonnet is substandard, it must be said. About four pixels and so. Oh, hello. Okay. Got to break. <laughs> Got to break a bit early in that. Five second penalty for that. GG. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Canberg. Thank you so much, mate. For becoming a member. Much appreciated. I R4M the wall. It's just practice for the race. I won't hit the wall, I hit other people. Obviously. Thank you, Matt Foster. Yeah, that's it. Whoa, hello. Jesus. Yeah, I need to work out my breaking point. I can, I can like, I can jump into a Group Three race, and I can know, my, I know most of my breaking points, even if I'm in a new car. But in a road car, I, I have no idea where I'm, where I'm breaking. So, oh god, we're matching already. So, this is going to be exciting into turn one because I don't know where I'm breaking. Um, yeah, I'm playing on uh, PS4 Pro. So I had a PS4, the normal PS4 for, well, forever. October 2017 when I bought, bought it, um, and I bought. Who's a bit itchy? I bought the, um, the Pro about two months, ago, two three months ago, three months ago. Yeah, I'm gonna put great bias to the front. I think. Press the brake pedal harder. There we go. Always solid advice, that. Are you the one behind the spotter voice in iRacing? Not quite. They say you cut the course. You have to slow down and hand back the time gained. How's that? How's that for an impression? They say you fucked a horse. Peggy 18, everyone. Sorry. Can anyone say what game this is? Um, it's Speed Freaks on PS1. HD remaster. I always forget this track is quite weird because the pit lane isn't on the start-finish straight. Which makes it a bit weird. Oh, it's so slidey. Oof, rip. Is he going to get a penalty for that? Five second penalty for that. And it didn't. It's like it slowed him down. <laughs> does, that, does that 
that give him a penalty as well? I think it did. <laughs> I pushed him into the wall. Oh. What car am I driving? The Toyota 86. That was a major oof. Five second penalty for getting rammed. That's the R4M stewards for you. The rammer gets away. The one who gets punted, they get a penalty. That's what happens when Momos is, is in charge of stewarding. Thank you, R4M Shooter. Um, normally, I do it at the start of each month. It depends when you became a member, to be honest. Oh, there's Carnage. It should be up to date. Oh. In the videos, it's up to date. I'm not sure if it's up to date for the live stream, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'll... Because there's been quite a lot of members today, I'll change it for the next live stream, if I remember. Let's see where people are breaking. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, that was actually just about okay. Coming through there, mate. Someone's getting a penalty for that. Come on. I don't think you can actually go side by side in this car for a bit. I mean, in a Group 3 car, this tunnel is easily flat, but in this car, is actually a bit sketchy. And this uh, left right coming up is actually a bit sketchy as well. Come on, mate. Oh, no, I'm getting a penalty for that. You don't. You can. Oh, God. He didn't have to lift off that much. Uh, well, that's another contract assignment for R4M complete, at least. The sneaky R4M into the wall. the penalty zone. Oh, hello. What's happening, mate? What's happening? I get two seconds for punting someone off into the wall, and you get five seconds for hitting the wall, right? Which doesn't affect anyone else and slows you down. Oh god, it's not gonna end well, is it? Please stay on the track. Here's broke. What? He got five seconds there. I hit him. <laughs> what? He's going. Here's the penalty zone. What even happened there? <laughs> what is this race? I've, I've set a purple set. Oh no, everyone sets purples on the second lap. I can't believe that guy got five seconds. He didn't do anything. I hit him. There we go, we can take that corner flat and that guy lifted. Oh, everyone's deep. He 
it's a big yoke. There's so many yokes here in this race. It's a fun race, but it is ridiculous with these penalties. Pretty good fun. It might warrant a video, I think. Again, the exit speed. I'm going in too hot. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Honestly, what are we doing here? It's a good question, Sebastian Vettel. Surprise, motherfucker! Happy New Year is a yoke. To be fair, you know, like there's all this big rage. Oh, it's a new decade, but then it's like life's exactly the same as it was. In 2019, nothing's really different, is it? Just you go back to your job and okay, all the same. Into, and this was a... Thank you, Mr. Zane. Much appreciated, man. Same to you. Come on, we can gain a position or two here. Want to get that sixth place at least? There's a sixth. There's a podium right within sight. Oh. Um, well, I always want to Not anymore. One second for that. I mean, where's the balance here with these penalties? Thank you, Shane Wendell. Another year of sixth place. I hope not, mate. Oh, the guy in second has just bottled it. In fact, the leaders... Oh, what's going on? Top two just imploded. This is battle for the lead now. It's seven of us! <laughs> what is going on? Look at this battle for the lead! Oh, my God. Go on. Oh, he's ramming him into the wall. He's got his hazard lights on. There is a hazard up ahead. Got someone on my right hand side. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna pin him. Oh boy. What the hell is going on? This is absolute madness. It's be lunch! Go on! Oh no. Oh, he's killed him! And I've been passed. Oh yes! Come on! Wait, I might get second here. Second! What the hell was that? Oh my, what? I can't, what even happened? What even happened? Get in there, Lewis, fantastic drive, mate. That's P2, fantastic drive, mate. You are the man. <laughs> What even was that? That's not racing. <laughs> oh boy. Good fun though, isn't it? Good fun. I think we need to save that replay. Jesus Christ. I mean, my SR went down, but... That was, that was Moses, yeah. That was a proper Moses moment. What is sportsmanship? It's about doing things. Is There's a giant lizard on the track. Not doing things that make you look bad. Like your OBT quality, <laughs> mate. Yeah, that was quality, wasn't it? I mean, some. Sometimes I'm in disbelief. Like, how do these things just keep happening? I think Ericsson hit us. Get in there, R4M Shadow, mate. Fantastic drive. That was fun. I actually enjoyed that. We should do more of that. Let's let's go and watch that replay. I mean, there's so much to to analyze. About a billion incidents. Thousand FIA 
Can you imagine that being F1? Like, stewards would be working for a week to try to work out whose fault it was for every incident. I've not even seen that car in a game before. What is that? Right, let's watch this replay. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Saeed Kolenovich. Kolenovich, thank you very much, man, for member as well. Hopefully that's saved because I uh, deleted some of the old If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, Walter. So any chance of a PGR retro stream or a video? Yes. Thank you very much, Walter. Um, I mean, I'd have to set up the old console, I guess. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? I would love to play a bit of PGR. Um, PGR 3 was the first game I ever played on Xbox. On any Xbox, PGR 3 was the first game. So, a lot of history on that game. I think Ericsson hit us. Thank you, Sean B. Lots of fun, brilliant. Thank you, Matt Foster. Wish my race had more chaos. Yeah, sometimes it's like, sometimes you get boring races. You know, you, you watch one of my videos and you... Yeah, to not end with a penalty was pretty lucky because there was so much contact to that, it, you know, it could have it could have easily have happened. You know, you watch one of my videos and it might seem like loads of exciting races, but at the same time, Whoa, there's, a giant lizard on the track. there's lots wow. of races. Where did that come from? There's lots of races where nothing happens and you don't see that so much. But, you know, I'm not going to post those races. Races like that, you think, you know, that would have been perfect for a video. pulled a bit of a manoeuvre there and someone else would have gotten penalty. Yeah, I mean, with this system the way it is now, it's like, you can actually get other people penalties by doing certain things. But yeah, I mean, if, if I did this race, this would have been a video, 100%. But I don't think I'll make it a video now because we be here. I went in quite deep there. I tapped that guy, nothing. Let's just analyse these penalties. I'm just trying to see who's got penalties. Is it a penalty? Do they appear above people's heads in good place? Maybe that one. Maybe oh, you can, there you go. Oh, no, you can't see it above their heads. I'm going to flip through. Right, this, this is my first one because I know that you can take this left right coming up flat, but the guy in front, he lifted. I didn't expect it. And it's just. Oh well, okay, I can understand. But well, he didn't need to lift. <coughs> right, and then everyone came flying in from behind. I got smacked. Right, who's got a penalty now then? I mean, who ended up winning? I think Ericsson hit us. Was it this, was it this guy who won? The 11th. Any future plan for dirt slash rally games in general? Thank you, Mr. Arzal. Um, I think Ericsson hit us. Not so much at the moment. Um, I get bored of the rally games quite quickly. I don't think there's much replay value on them. I like racing against other people. You don't really do that on rally games. Thank you, Chow Costa. Um, funny how I was having a conversation about how relatable you are. And two days after you posted your beauty video. Yeah. Um, it's part of that video, and, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, man. And glad you glad you liked it. Right, there. right was this where I tapped that guy and he got a five-second penalty? Yeah. This is me. I tapped someone. I think it was this lap. I think it was this lap. I tapped the guy in front and he got a five. Let's see how that worked. I tapped that guy there. Then he got a five, right? But let's see. I mean, what? So, I mean, we grazed each other. I hit him. That's my fault. And then <laughs> gets a five second penalty. I mean, answers on postcard. Explain that. Half 
second. He said nine, two and a half. I've got half a second. The thing is probably not even for hitting him, it's for cutting the corner. Oh yeah. I came out of the ghost just in front of that guy. It was a bit naughty. I should have gone off the racing line. bumped him and then I went off four wheels I, f I think I stayed on though because I think if you have two wheels on the red and white um, curbing you're, you're still on the track um, but that's him with the five second so these two this is where it kicked off because these two mess each other up on the last lap so that would be interesting let's just skip that is to look at this guy just got a five, let's see what happened here then. Flashing his lights. Like smacking the wall, simple enough. Don't smack the wall. Um, well, I oh, that's, that's a murder. Big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. South of France is watching you, thank you very much. I'd like to visit South of France again. Bang! Just killed him. Would you like to be part of R4M? Um, PS4 Pro, I'm on. Yeah, I went to Monaco um, two months ago. Really cool place. I'd like to go back to the south of France. Maybe in summer. Or this guy. They've got the five hitting the wall. I don't think that Matt Bauer got a penalty for smack, for like blatantly. He didn't get a penalty for 100% murdering that guy. GG system. Go home, you're drunk. Right, let's, let's whip this forward a bit. So here's the Dutch guy. The top two, they mess each other up. What happened then? Arrow. Hip hop is inspired. He more than nipped up his inside. So you get things like that blatant, blatantly smacked him wide. No penalty. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay then. Well, that's the Dutch guy serving his penalty. Just go around his outside and then. Oh. Pinned. So this is the battle for the lead then. Because, okay, this is. This is pivotal to the race. This is where it all kicks off. This is where morals go out the window. Exactly happened. Oh, that is pure filth, that is. Empty player. A utter filth. Then everyone caught up. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Top two. <laughs> I think Eric's if they'd just been nice to each other, they could have finished first and second. No. Thank you, Mr. Mishra. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of punting for people. <laughs> I just want to watch this. <laughs> This guy came out, and this is the Dutch guy that I punted. Swerves past him. Breaks a yeah, 50 metres too late. Smack. Murders that guy. Kills him. Flat out kills him. Oh, that wasn't too bad. One second penalty for you. Then... Don't even tell me what happened here. Wait, this guy got five. Wait. Wait, no. He got 100% killed. Oh, for hitting the wall. <laughs> he got pushed into the wall and he gets 5 seconds right. What a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, man. Yes. Olympic and me and I, I just pinned him. Oh, that was a good manoeuvre actually. So wait, Olympic finishes second, third, and I finish second. I went up the inside there, tried it, and smack, he murders him. Then there's this little push here, and then Olympic just loses momentum, and I get past him. And two of those got penalties. Oh my god. 
this, yeah, this guy got a penalty for this. What a mental race. <laughs> and he only gets one second. It's like <laughs> the victims got more penalties than the people who do who did the ramming. Good one. It's a yoke, honestly. Such a big yoke. Right. Um, we'll skip. Let's do C again. I'll qualify for it a bit better. And uh, maybe go back into A, because that was actually really fun. Yeah, Force 1. They, they changed the penalty system about two weeks ago. Two, three weeks. And I don't know what they've done. It's like they've gone back to a really old version. But, and then made it even worse. I don't know. I think the penalty system probably peaked about eight months ago or something. And then it's just, they made a couple of tweaks and it's got worse and worse. Like this, now, I think it's the worst it's ever been. It is shocking. It can't apportion blame properly. You get pushed off into the wall. Well, you get a penalty for hitting the wall. So. Yeah, but I got pushed off into the wall. So stupid. And like there was one yesterday I put on Twitter, like two guys just tap like that, and then one goes around the outside, they both get a four second penalty. Like, what? Maybe they but yeah. I think one reason would be that they're testing things. Obviously it's worse as it is now, but they're testing different things for next for for the next game, but frustrating to be part of it right let's try and beat a 130 then it's just a prank bro Kaz will be like hey <laughs> just a prank guys New Year's Eve prank. New decade, new prank. What are you like, Kaz? You absolute madman. funny old game though i would i'll be honest though um it's cracking content i mean these penalties it's pretty hilarious obviously not if you're on the receiving end of it but if you could just sort of be calm and avoid trouble in a race or 40 percent of the people in the race will get some bullshit penalty and then you can beat them but that's sort of the new method just stay out of trouble try maybe maybe that race does deserve a, a video actually because it was just that crazy i think the general populace of the world needs to see it you guys are the lucky ones you three thousand or so people you have witnessed the greatness of that race Cleveland. I'll punt your rear end, mate. No worries.
Just call the R4M hotline. Put a contract it on yourself. And an R4M member will duly oblige. Doesn't look right that that should be 29 surely come on i have one more lap as well to try and improve it 28 29 ah not quite one more tenth Consistent, but I should be able to do a mid 25, I think. Oh, 29, 25, 29. That's a bit annoying. I had, I had two tenths at, at one point there. That should have been a 29.8. Oh well. No, I, I can do that though. Just, uh, it's hard sometimes doing a qualifying lap when you're sort of under pressure with the time. Like, well, you've only got enough time for one lap, so you have to do it now. Sometimes it's best just to jump into qualifying session only without the counter ticking down. 12. Need to look at that. If I had just gone and done a point 0.8, I'll be seventh. Rating. Okay, let's see what we can get though from 12 from the grid. I should have watched the replay and seen what these top guys are doing. Good idea. I'm trying to work out if it's better to start on the medium or start on the hard. I think from here I start on the medium. Why isn't VIR in this game? Um, I mean, you could ask that about any track. Why is it this track? Why is this track? Hello? Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Okay, figured it out uh, to change the name. R4M Digital Humor. Then friend of to Shadow GT. Good stuff, man. Thank you very much. Welcome to R4M. Uh, medium. Wait. Yeah, just stick with mediums. Anyway, look. I went on the oh, internet this week and well. I found this. Thank you, Seth. I don't want the ABS glitch. Hopefully this gets rid of it. Normally it does, my experience. 
But yeah, thank you, Seth, for becoming a member as well. Um, well I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Ooh. Thank you, M8 Justice. Will you? Uh, will we see you at the iRacing Daytona 24? It's not too long away, is it? It's like, what, three weeks? I can't promise anything, but I do want to do more of the endurance special events, for sure. So let's say Le Mans, the Nürburgring 24, Spa 24 again. Um, Etty Le Mans in there, Daytona 24. The bar first. 1,000. 12 hour. Yeah, I, I want to do more of them, but I can't promise the Daytona one because it's not too long. It's in two weeks, okay. You need to put quite a bit of practice time in for those, for iRacing, don't you? Right, let's do it. I don't have the ABS glitch, that's good. Oh, he's backwards. That's an aggressive move. Got the job done though, didn't I? Like candy from a baby. Oh, sort it out, guys. Get on with it. For God's sake. I might just lunge for first into, into the first corner. He's only six seconds ahead. Oh, that's a good move. That's Slovakian guy. A Slovenian. Sorry, I probably I always get those flags wrong. Because they're so similar. Petition to change the flags to something more different and recognizable. I don't think so, mate. Ain't it? I use the Z4. No, I've only done the Interlagos race once tonight. Um, what did I use? I used the Mercedes. For that. Mercedes is a good choice, I think. Um, the R8, though, is the I think it's the best car around into Lagos in Group 3, with no tyre wear to worry about. That guy was, he was a bit off the pace, so I had to get past him. I catch up with that group up ahead.
as I'm still in the slipstream, I'm happy. I think this whole group is in the slipstream of each other. Apart from the leader, who's got away a bit. They won three. Decent lap. Guy behind's a little bit off the base. Watching these guys a little bit deep. at the end of this lap. Oh, hello. Yeah, I feel we don't have to worry about in this race. It's, you, have, you have enough to last. You have the fuel save. race this one. Everyone's quite even paced up here. Oh, we might get penalty for that. Very close. No. Safe. Sorry. Think about like that little tap I did on him there. It only slows me down because I'm stuck behind him and I've, I've made him slower and therefore that makes me slower so you want to race as close as you can to these guys but not hit them it only slows you down see the gap to the Portuguese guys just opened up a little bit It took ages to get on the power. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white pies. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Mark uh, Nelik. Thank you very much, mate. I'm going to stay one lap longer. Hopefully, we don't fight too much with this guy because this is the important lap in the race. Just go, mate. Just go. I'll sit behind you. Just go. fight too much we're going to lose to all those guys who just pitted. We don't want that. This guy is he's, he's driving all over the place. Come on man. Don't defend, just go. went for it. Not a good move. I'm putting in a penalty for that. Oh, game thinks it's fine. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the one fight. So stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Mark. Much appreciated, mate.
Clean as you like, mate. No penalty. Here we go. Another brakes early. It's cold tyres. Well, there's Italian lizard on the track. Wait, there you go. R4M, mate. It's all in the it's all in the name R4M, isn't it? That's all you need. One tip to becoming a pro driver on Gran Turismo: just join R4M. Job done. lagging failed racer also failed internet connection I need to speak to Wi-Fi passwords GP2 internet. It's got one bar. It's, a bit, it's really annoying racing with someone with bad internet because they're just all over. You can't judge where they are. You have to be extra special careful to not hit them. I think Eric's in here. Oh, get a load of that, mate. Race for mummy. Be race for mummy if you want it to be, mate. You always got to do your mum proud in life. So, why not? Okay, so I did... Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Bundled the other guy wide, but that was a good move on that guy. for Momo. Ram for Momos. Momos are the most powerful anime character in the known universe of Gran Turismo Sport. Someone else in the pit lane. Into seventh. Four laps, no, five laps to go. Portuguese guy up next. so much guys drowning in beer in a minute right next victim the finish driver hunt him down and kill him the gap 1.7 not quite in the slipstream getting that toe Oh, no, I am in the substream now. You messed up that last corner. Gap was 1.4. Let's see what that goes down to at the end of the straight. It should be quite a lot of, of gaining. It should be a couple of attempts. Look at that gap coming anyway, down. Look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Colin Wise, for coming to member as well. It's a very wise decision, mate. Thank you very much. Okay, gap down to 0 0.8. Just gained half a second. 
came on now, baby. Even third place is looking like he's um, dropping back a little bit. Maybe not enough. We'll see on that one. Just keep monitoring third place. We've still got three laps to go. That looks like about a four second gap. But if they went into the pits earlier, they'll struggle with tyres on the last lap especially. Oh, he's quite wide there. I've noticed that Finnish guy doesn't like that corner, that left-hand corner there. He's been going really wide on most of his laps. Oh, and there. Okay, we're in with a chat, uh, in with a chance here. Oh, okay, third place into the pits. This is going to be the battle for third now. Where is he? Podium. Right, come on. Let's go keep it now. him already look at that he's gone see ya see ya see ya later second place is quite a long way ahead so it's just a case of keeping third now I'm going to do um, a sim simulator session tomorrow. Oh, wait, the leader's in. I might be able to catch up with him, though. I'm doing a simulator session. Some someone I used to go to university with, um, he's got a company called Simutech, and he has a um, full-blown formula sim, sim rig. Like one of those motion platforms with the big old monitors. I'm going to be having a go on one of those tomorrow. Good fun. eight seconds off the lead and that's not bad I think I mean what would the gap have been at the start of the race the gap at the start of the race was probably about six seconds or something so I've only lost like two seconds to the leaders over the whole race which is not bad when you think that you're fighting people leaders he's doing the two-stop strategy and he's making it work i think he is anyway because it's that was a late pit stop he's probably doing like two medium stints and then like doing a quick hard stint at the end oh that's understeer What time is it in the UK? It is 10 to 10 in the in the evening, 9:50 p.m. Yeah. Four thousand viewers, good stuff, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always appreciate it. Your little legends. Right, final lap. Get it done. I'm actually quite enjoying this Group 2 race. I don't normally... Like, ironically enough, I don't normally enjoy the Super GT races. But these ones are actually alright. Because you can actually overtake. If it was all topless or something... All topless is just horrible in these cars. In any sort of cars with downforce. 
it's not a good track. At least around here you can overtake people. mind driving one of these for real though that'd be awesome so i've watched dtm at brands hatch and my god they are seriously fast Obviously, like by far away the quickest tin top cars that you can get super gt and dtm are basically level one name third less than 10 seconds off the lead i'll take that Catching Busquets, Sergio Busquets in his downtime. Gets on the old simulator. Yeah, some pretty good overtakes. I mean, the one on, was it, Dark Captain was a bit aggressive, too aggressive, really. But I think the other ones were pretty well judged. And the brakes, nice and late. Any news on the TGT giveaway? Um, so that is... Um, finishing on 13th of 13th of January I'm going to give you a, a link to it guys if you want to enter if a nightbot doesn't ban me for posting links so yeah I'm giving away a Thrustmaster TGT wheel um, but you can enter that competition. All you've got to do is go to my YouTube account. I mean, you're probably there already. Um, go to my Instagram account and follow me on Twitter. So e doing each of those things will give you an entry. You can do one of them, you can do two of them, you can do three of them. If you do three of them, you'll get three chances to win. But it's up to you. And then um, that competition finishes 13th uh, January. And I'll randomly pick a winner. The website will randomly pick a winner. Okay, okay we're going to jump back in to the absolute meme race. I just need to go for a, a toilet very quickly. And I'm going to change into shorts because I am baking here in my jogging bottoms. Good evening, Key25. How are you doing? Back from the Shadow Realm yet? Right, I'll be back in one minute 30 or something. Okay, I'm back. Wearing shorts in January. Good stuff. This setup though, it it gets so hot. I've got the PC blurting out of the heat. I've got the console. I've got the dry uh, the wheel, direct drive wheel. All of them producing heat. Right, we got have we got enough time to do a lap? I don't know if we have. I think it might just count. I'll cross the line after it goes down to zero, but Sometimes it counts anyway. Bye 
five second penalty. Key 25 gets a five second penalty every time he comments. This race is dedicated to R4 North Korea. Ran for North Korea. We, do, we ran for our Lord Kim Jong Il, the one true God. Who's actually a rammer on Gran Turismo? He logs in every now and then. His name is R4M Supreme Leader. Look out for him online in the Asia Oceania region. driven a GT86? I haven't. Um, I'm pretty sure Veloce James has got... Oh, no. Don't give me a penalty. I'm pretty sure Veloce James has got a GT86. Brakes are so much better when you put it on minus five. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd buy a GT86. I mean, it's a cool enough car, but I don't know, it's just not for me. Like, if I had the same sort of money, I mean, is, is a 350Z or a 370Z, is that the same sort of money? Depends if you buy a brand new, I guess. But if I had to buy a Japanese car, I'd probably buy like a 370. But even then, I probably wouldn't buy one of them. Don't get to finish, I will. Not in 10th, here we go. Gotta watch out for that empty player guy. He was pure filth in that last race. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Or Jim is GTR. Hi mate, uh, can I just, yeah, just give me the keys, I'll, it's mine now. Civic Type, the Civic, I like the, um, the Type R's from about, the 2004 Type R, 2003, 2004, I like that one. I think that's a very cool car. <sighs> right, here we go. This is where the SR goes down to minus gazillions. Don't you just love getting minus gazillion SR? Don't you love it? What is my SR? Oh, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Wait, there we go. Going up, yeah. I, my... Driver in 65,000. That's the highest I've ever got on this account. Yeah, it is. 65,000. 99 SR. On my Super GT, I'm 67,000. That's, again, the highest I've ever got. Graph. Not bad for a second account. Oh, do warm up. Right. Okay. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Is the Muppet? Yeah. I mean, if I had a proper think about it, there's probably loads of other cars I would get, to be honest. But I'm not looking to buy one of those cars. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Have you achieved all your goals in 2020? A wreck fest? Um, I did do a little bit on it, but... I don't know. I, I just stick to the games I really like the most. The breakfast is fun. Stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. How have the penalties been tonight, mate? You should have seen this race. I did it. I did it an hour ago. It was the worst. It was one of the worst races ever. People were getting. Someone got punted, and they got smacked into the wall, and then they got a five-second penalty for hitting the wall. Like that's how bad it was. What 
the f*** are we doing here? We do quick, quick LGY. Good luck out there. I'm going to need it. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you for your concern. There we go. I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Cheeky little wall tap to avoid the penalty. I don't think I've got the ABS glitch, luckily. Oh. Four seconds. Empty player. There's no surprise. Get away from him. Okay, right. Please don't break through here. There we go. Oh, he moved. Okay. Saw the, the radar there, the guy behind has got mullered. Yeah, key, the penalties have been um, in the Fuji race, it's been all right. And into long because I've only done it once. There are some penalties. But in this race, it's horrific. This race seems to be going a bit better. Uh, which track? This is Tokyo Expressway South Loop. One of the loops. I can't remember which one, but South. Oh, no. Right, he recovered. Saying to go left. I shall do it. Thank you very much, basic Holly. Sorry for the punt. Is right there, you can just get onto the back of it. That would be awesome. We are gaining 2.2, we should be one and a half seconds by the end of this straight. I reckon that gap comes down, should come down. We're in the slipstream, Not coming down as quick as I'd like. Forget what I said. We gained a couple of tenths. Oh, there's a big lunge coming. Oh, no. No. Hopefully that guy can keep going. Sorry, mate. Gone. God, man. The slipstream really affects your breaking points. Massively. Lucky I didn't completely kill him and get a penalty. This race was definitely not as eventful as the first one. I 
kind of spread out at the front here. Gonna be contact. My exit's wrong. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they've done. It's just they've made it an absolute horror show, to be honest. The current penalty system. I mean, God knows why. It's just gone. It's just gone downhill massively recently. Mistake really from this guy. Not just a name, but a lifestyle. It's a way of living. Our form is a way of life. And it's lights out, Adam. I need to improve my exits. I'm going in too early. Thank you very much, man. Keep on hard work for 2020 and don't bash too many people to the Shadow Realm. Well, I can't promise that, I'm afraid. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for being here, mate. Thanks for the donation, of course. I think, Key, yeah, you need to be in R4M, mate. After what I saw you do at Suzuka. That that door-to-door -door contact, mate. That's unforgivable. Utter filth. You sent that guy to the, to the Shadow Realm. Should be ashamed, really. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you very much, um... Liquor? Liquor. That's what I'm going to call you. Liquor. When did the drunk racing stream come in? I need to do one, don't I? Drunk racing. I'm bad enough as it is. I'm not drunk. That wasn't too bad. But the first, oh my god! If you guys haven't seen it, you gotta go back and watch the first one. It's about an hour ago. Mental. Alrighty. I can do do a couple of race Bs now. We've done race C twice, done race A twice. We've only done B once. So let's put in uh, some qualifying. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? In the rate eight out of eight, Audi rate eight out of eight. Um, make it quick. Any tips for group two racing? Oh, so let's say, yeah, for the Fuji race, any tips? Oh, the KFC R8. Um, yeah, like in group two, you can really rely on the cars through the corners, you can really, um. Don't be afraid to really push the car through the corner because it has so much grip. I mean, how, what tip can I give you that are especially vital in group two? I think it's really important just to get like a straight acceleration out of a lot of the corners. Like at Fuji, you got the going down to that really tight right hander. And then you go through them first gear, and then you've got the little left that follows. And then as you come out of there, like you're in first gear, and then you just dart out in a straight line to, to get really good power in a straight line. I think it's really, I think acceleration is really important, the way that you do it. But the final corner as well at Fuji is tough because you're always turning whilst accelerating. So it's tough to get on the power, but you have, if you can go quite deep and cut back and straight line it as much as you can. You can't straight line it completely, of course. 
Um, look after the tyres. Yeah, that's a good one from Key. Um, so in that race, I'm especially trying to not trail break. So again, that downhill right-hander, like breaking a straight line off the brakes and then sort of roll in with no throttle or no brake. You just roll in a little bit. You can do it at the first corner as well. So you brake, off the brake, roll towards the apex and then just gently on the power. Honestly, what the f*** are we doing here? Mr. Snuff, Snuffle Eupagus. Am I getting that wrong? You inspired me to start sim racing. Cheers, Steve. Thank you very much. Always good to hear that. Good luck. You're, you're going to need it out there in the horrible world of Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo land. How do you look after the tyres? Um, good question. Front tyres... The main way to look after them is don't be aggressive on the steering. Like, don't steer more than you have to. And that's quite crucial around Fuji because there's lots of long corners. So don't like steer like more than you have to. Just be gentle with it. Um, and don't trail brake too much. So don't brake whilst turning in. I can do it here because I'm, there's no tyre wear to worry about. Thank you, Gus. Love the videos. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Um, to protect your rear tyres, um, the main thing is not wheel spinning out of corners. So again, that that tight right hander at Fuji, you've got the tight right and then the tight left, then you accelerate out in first gear, but I short shift into second. If you leave it in first, you're just wheel spinning. So you could short shift up to second to protect the tires, the rear tires, or um, just keep it in second and then accelerate out so you get less wheel spin. It might be a tiny bit slower, but over the course of the race, you protect your tires so your tires are better at the end. So if other people have not protected their tyres, then you'll catch up at the end. So sometimes it's a case of just sitting behind... Sometimes you can just sit behind someone and just, just sit, sit in the slipstream, but just protect your tyres a bit more. And then their tyres will go off whilst yours are being a bit more protected. But yeah, just work on being smooth. Don't aggressively turn in too much. Don't trail brake. Don't brake whilst turning in too much. And they don't accelerate and wheel spin too much on the exit of the corners. Something I've really learned re like recently on this game, especially in FIA where there's tyre wear, like aggression doesn't normally pay off on this game. Like just being smooth actually really helps like a lot. Yeah, luckily, Key, I'm not racing tomorrow. Um, I'm away, so. You won't be able to door barge me into the pit lane. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Harrison. Happy to hear it, man. Thank you very much for the message. Thanks for the donation. I do appreciate it. I need to get to like a. I did a 31 4 on my main account. I can get towards that hopefully. Probably do a 31 2, I think. I really nailed it. I just didn't get on the power. Any advice on how to get smoother? Um, so, I mean, on, on the way into a corner, like, if I really just be aggressive, look at this. I just, like, 
Like it, it turned in, but it's really aggressive. So your turning in process has to be like... You see how I'm just like feeding the wheel in, I'm just going like that, I'm just... You just it takes like a bit of time to turn, but you don't need to turn more than what the car can actually turn. Also, can you see the... Um, just above the rev gauge, there's a little red dot moving left and right. So that is the maximum steering angle there to the to the right. So you don't want to like turn even more because you just you're scrubbing speed. And the same to the left, like that's as much as you want to turn. So you turn more and you're just the tires are turning, but your car isn't turning anymore. Just scrubbing. So um be mindful of that, like you don't want to turn too much beyond that. That also feeds into the whole don't be too aggressive thing because you're going beyond that, the end of that the line. Uh, where that red dot is. If you watch Lightning, uh, TRL Lightning, he's one. Of, he's probably the smoothest driver in this game. He's ridiculously good at just sti um, like smoothing, steering very smoothly, and like never having to correct himself because he turns exactly the right amount. He never, he never steers more than he has to. And uh, the bon the added bonus of that is it improves his tire wear. So it's so hard to keep up with him and then he's got really good tyre wear as well because he's so smooth. Down to a 31.5, it's not too bad, but ideally I'd be, I need to be about a tenth quicker. Does track temp, yeah, the track temperature does matter, I think. Um, so I've noticed in this race, it's, um, it's quite cloudy, so the, t the track is actually a bit colder than it otherwise is, so it's, there's less grip. It feels Maybe like there's less grip the anyway. presentation by Pele. Did he get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> I think it's got Mansfield. Let me get to the straight. Um... Super curious as to how many practices Lewis H had. Um, if you mean for his DLC, I have no idea. Um, oh, there's a giant lizard on the track. Gonna be an all day. Do you ever look at someone's telemetry and try to mimic it for fun? Example, Senna's throttle map tapping or Schumacher's early braking. Um, not really, because it's just they're driving F1 cars, so it's a completely different way to drive a car. Um, I'm not sure you can really do that, but 
I mean, I tried to replicate what people with the top times are doing in this game. Now I could look at the top replay of this track and try to kind of replicate it a little bit. I wouldn't try to replicate a real life example. I don't think that really. You just. You need to do what works in the game, not what quick drivers do in real life, because this isn't real life. You have to just do what works in the game. This is a good lap. Mr. Misha again. A Logitech G29. What's the difference between that and the TGT? Um, I don't really know because I've never had a G29. I'll do thing I thought. Um, I mean the TGT costs what 700 quid, so it's a bit more premium. The TGT's designed. I could have done a point three. I hooked it all up. Um, TGT is designed specifically Gran Turismo so it has like dials and switches which can help you with the um, like the brake bias the track control you can have a dial for each so it is specifically made for this game let's go with the R8 for this one um, but yeah the TGT is a bit more expensive like double the price I think how much is a G29? I don't even know. Logi. I can come on. Logi. Oh, it's not actually that much, is it? It's like quite cheap. Eighty quid. So that's like a really good entry level wheel. Fine. But imagine. I mean. I mean that's it's a good wheel for entry level. If you want to get like an entry level wheel, go for that. But TGT is definitely more mid range. Um, seven hundred. You've got the CSL Elite TGT at that sort of five to seven hundred pounds, and then see this wheel is like fifteen hundred premium, top of the line, mate. People still shop at Curry's. It'll probably be one of those companies that ends up gone soon. It's like, a, what was it, Comet shop here, and then that disappeared a few years ago. I'd imagine there are top drivers in the, using the G29. I'd imagine there are. I think a lot of the World Tour drivers have the TGT because... At the competition, they use the TGT, so it's best to use the same wheel. Um, so, I mean, I could this direct drive wheel is really good, it's better than TGT, but if I were to qualify for an event, it would be really difficult because I'm used to this quality, and then I'll go to a TGT which isn't quite as responsive. Still good, but it would be a little bit harder. Keyboard is where it's at. Only the real OGs use keyboard. The true pros. <sighs> right, okay, so I'm fairly all right with those laps. I could have got down to a point three. Oh well. Bellin with a Z4. Get in there, Lewis. So what is everyone's New Year's resolutions? I went to the gym today. There are so many new people in there. The January, the January newbies. Look out the window, there's so many people running as well. 
Let's see if that continues into February. Be more organized. That's a good one. Be more organized. New resolution. Don't bottle it. Stop thrashing my car. My resolution is to not change one bit. Fair enough. If you've got it all you got it all going good, then you know, why change? Got it all sorted out? And it's changed, yeah. Do more coke, that's a good one. I might join you on that. What <laughs> yeah, World War Three's gonna happen. Doesn't matter. We're all gonna die. Oh yeah, there's the nuke just landing out my window. It's, it's uh, Super GC's career is over. Be nuked. Ran to glory. That's a good resolution, ran to glory. Fair play, mate. Fair play indeed. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. 30 seconds to go. Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! Does the direct drive work off the PS4? It does indeed. Um, I have... Let me go here. So I have a link to everything in the description, everything that I use. A tech podium for PS4. So, uh, this is one I use. I'm not using that wheel, I'm using the uh, base, the bit at the back. And it's lights out! And There's a giant lizard on the track. My New Year's resolution is to stop brutally murdering people. To be fair, that's quite sensible. I'd definitely recommend, if there's any murderers out there, it might be an idea to stop. So, good on you, Ian. Good on you, mate. Um, but yeah, there's... So there's... DD1, DD2. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. And then there's one for the PS4 as well. Podium Racing with F1, that one. So, there is one for the, for the PS4. Um, what's that? Did you have a favourite track or car? I'll say my favourite track on this game is Nürburgring Grand Prix. I like that circuit and I tend to go well there. So, say Nerve GP. Oh, quite, quite low down on the order here. 8 in the grid. Uh, yeah, Nerve GP, I'd say, is my favourite. In terms of the cars, um, I like the I like the 911. It's just such a easy car to drive. It just drives so well. Game Tech UK, Mr. Jason, good to see you, man. Yeah, doing very well. I hope you're very good as well. Come on, driving. We have a, a Lancer Evo in front of us. A McLaren in front of us. Quite a lot of um, R8. Oh, got the AMG behind. That's the, 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 uh, oh, that? the AMG is good in a straight line, so I'll watch out for that on the straight. Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! My second resolution is to stop blowing money on your live streams, but I don't think I'm off to a good start. You just blew more money to tell me that. But um, I think that's a really bad resolution. I think, if anything, you should donate more. Preferably anything over £10,000. But that's your choice. Cheers as always, Ian. Much appreciated, man. Yeah, stop the murdering. Definitely don't do that anymore. Eight from the grid, man. I thought that was a good lap. But alas, no, it isn't. Is the CSL Elite good for a basic set? I might get it. I mean, it's a very good, I wouldn't say it's a basic, it's a very good wheel. It's the one I had before this, and I'd definitely recommend it. The CSO Elite, Frostmaster, TGT, both very good on this game, especially. So, 
So go for it, mate. And of course, use my uh, affiliate link in the description before you buy anything Fanatec. Oh, I've got ABS glitch. Should have done the warm-up. What an idiot. That uh, Evo has like no straight line speed. It goes literally zero miles an hour on the straight. Should be an easy overtake. Should. Okay, first place is just driving off into the distance. Everyone else is battery. Oh, there's someone off. Everyone else is battering each other. 50 shades of grey out of each other. Oh, what's this McLaren doing? Oh, he's round. Okay, two positions for free. Oh, four seconds. What did that guy do? He got two seconds as well. It's all kicking off here, guys. Look at, the, look at the McLaren go. It's an absolute missile. And the AMG behind. I said that the Evo was slow. It obviously isn't in the slipstream. ABS glitch. So hard to drive with. Oh, what the hell? I think that, that guy just serving the penalty. Um, came out of the ghost. <laughs> Coming second somehow. Okay then. That's a true R4M moment right there. One for the scrapbook of R4M moments. Of which there are many. To be honest, I, got, I like the challenge of trying to brake properly without slamming it down. It's just a... Just sometimes quite hard adapting. The hard bit is, I mean, like here it's okay to fresh hold brake. It's hard using when, when the ABS isn't on properly, when you've got the glitch. It's just hard when you're in a like a close racing moment with someone else, you're like trying to outbreak them or something. That's when it gets difficult. I just can't quite get in there. That first corner. Oh, there's a giant lizard on the track. Evo's actually... Wow, where did that come from? It was the Mishra once again. Oh, God, come on. I'm an Audi behind me now. That's not good. Probably have the Evo there. Oh yeah, grass line baby. I'm not quite as comfortable with the brakes like this, so it's, it's a good challenge, put it that way. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's no mirror on this view, annoyingly. There is on the hood view, on the bumper cam. Oh man, that's close. Park it on the apex. Oh man, what the hell? The car just did not stop. The car's getting exactly the right amount of pressure. I'm about to get him into turn one here. He's got quite a big gap. Might have to be into turn four. Is that a penalty? What? Oh man! Almost. The edge. Yeah, tonight I've got the ABS glitch every time I didn't go for the warm up. So it looks like just go out for the warm up and you should be safe. At least that's how it's been tonight. Okay, it's going to be a third. Not bad from eighth, I guess. Everyone just battering 50 shades of grey out of each other. I swear, it was, when I used it yesterday, it was much slower than that. But he's in the slipstream, I guess. Take that. Oh man, sweaty in here. I'm gonna give that 911 a go. There, Lewis. There, Lewis. Shane, any tips for learning better car control? I haven't played for over a year due to how much I'm away from work. I've kitted my van, so I've got the rig in it. Any tips for speeding up the learning process? Um. Something I'd always recommend is watching replays to the top times so you, know, so you quickly know the right lines, the right braking points, the, night, uh, the right gears to use, the right car to use. So just go in here, qualifying, top 10, boom, play the replay, watch it, analyze it, pause it, do what we have to do. Um, but then just hammer out some qualifying laps, basically. Just, just churn out laps so you're consistent. It's the best thing you can do, I think. Just just do 10 laps, qualify, and go round and round and round. Even if you make a mistake, just keep going. Mate, just get consistency and familiarity. There's a giant lizard on the track. Oh, wow. man. Where did that come from? Wow, where did that come from? Love the video on how you became a full-time YouTuber. Would recommend to a friend or colleague. 93 till infinity. With the 75. My God. Thank you so much, mate. And yeah, I'm glad you appreciate that video. I think um, I really 
felt good to sort of get everything off my chest with that video. Bro, there's a giant lizard on the track. And thank you, Phoenix NFA. Good start to Group 4 and Group 3 for GT Sport Newbie. Um, I think a good starter car would be the Porsches, the 911 uh, in Group 3, um, which I'm about to choose. Yeah, where is it? And the Cayman in Group 4 is a fairly solid choice as well. They're easy to drive. They're good all-rounders. I'd say go for those. Maybe the Mercedes as well. And uh, Toyota is often quite good. The Super is quite a hard car to drive. So I'd say go for the... If you want an easy car, Porsche 911, Porsche Cayman. Go for those. But yeah, thank you so much, um, Infinity, man. 75. Very good. But yeah, it, it was like... I've made this channel for so long and I keep getting questions in the chat like what was your job before, how old are you, um, where did you go to university, so many questions like this, so it's good to just uh, like say it all in one go. I think Ericsson hit us. <laughs> Use this to buy a McLaren P1 GTR, are they 100 quid? Wait, if they're 100 quid I'll go and buy one right now. Right, that's it. See you later. I'm going off to buy a McLaren. But man, you... <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Just a big thank you. Um, I mean, just you guys tuning in. That's... Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Just tuning in. As I said on that video, that's the best thing you can do. But these donations are mega. I feel bad donating because of Adblock. So here you go, mate. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. No worries, mate. Um, you don't have to feel guilty. Just watching the video always helps. I think, let's say you have ad block, but you watch video. That helps that video get promoted and more people will watch it as a result. Um, so you are help. I mean, just by watching a video, you help indirectly for that video to earn more money because that video gets promoted more because you watched it. And if you comment on it, um, that's why I said in my video, the best thing you can do always is just, it's always the best thing. It's always number one strategy. At the same time, donating 175 quid also helps and I, I'm not going to complain, you know. Right, let's see what this car is all about. It's just a good all-rounder, just handles so well, no drama, watch me make an absolute hash of this now. Best group 3 car for this track, well the R8 is the quickest, um, thank you Tony man for the 50 as well, you guys, thank you Tony, that's very very generous of you, dropping the $50 there of $49.99. I can't even remember what I was saying now. Yeah, cheers Tony. That is very, very nice of you. Very, very generous. Oh, it feels good to have proper brakes. I don't know why I must donate so much, man. But it's, uh, it's a good way to start off the year, let's put it that way. I think that um, that video that I made, um, there were lots of really good comments, really positive comments. People sort of feeling the same way in their lives, and maybe it was quite relatable for a lot of people. That's why I think it was a good video to make. And I, I have honestly, I've read every single comment on that video. I haven't replied to all of them, of course. But I have actually, I've gone back to that video every day and I've read all the newest comments and I've done it every day since I've released it. So it's good to see, there's like 1,300 comments, nearly 1,400. See you key. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't do too many savage door bangs, mate. Stay clean out there. 
don't send yourself to the Shadow Realm. And Good it's luck. lights out, and it's a giant lizard on the track. Thank you, Chris White, for humility and humour. Well, many thanks to you, sir. Or miss. Thank you very much, man. I really feel like playing Witcher 3. I've got it on my PC, but I've only, I haven't got that far on it. I've been watching The Witcher on Netflix this week. I might get back into it. And then I might toss a coin to my Witcher. Yeah, Key loves a rage, doesn't he? But because he's, he like he like he knows exactly what he's like. He, it's not like he's unaware of it. He knows that he gets angry. He accepts the way he is. That's just the way he is. And to be fair, like I rage. You see me rage quit a lot. Obviously, I haven't harnessed the full power of a key rage just yet, but I have raged. How much time is left for the giveaway? Um, till 13th of January, so you still have, what, 10 days? Yeah, for those who have just joined, I'm giving away Thrustmaster TGT. And, uh, wait, post it in the chat. Uh, post it. Okay. Enter. Okay, fifth this time. That KB guy's pretty quick. R8. Two. I can do. I, I reckon I can do a 31 too if I hook, hook together a good lap. Qualifying. Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Best way to get your DR up. Uh, yeah, so your driver rating. Driver rating is measured really by your, just purely by your results. Um, so you just have to finish well in races. I'll say the best thing to do is, out of the three daily races, find the one that you are best at, you're most comfortable with, and just really hammer out a good qualifying lap. Just make sure you start towards the front. Because if you're starting like outside of the top 10, like chances are you probably won't finish that high. Chances are. Maybe you can still win, I don't know. But... Get yeah, a good qualifying lap. Spend 20 minutes, half an hour on a good qualifying. Then um, just churn out that race. If you really want to grind it, just qualify well on a race that you're good at. And just grind the result. Just keep doing that race over and over. That's probably the quickest way. Believe that, baby. Stay cool. We're bringing you the white vibes. So stay cool. We're in a good position. Mm, not the same. Need to keep remembering to do it. Thank you, Mania. Remember when you did uh, 50 laps of Norse Life? Good time, yeah. Wait, so you got what happened? You just got to your first pit stop. One of the pit stops, and you just couldn't. You, I think I, I think I know what happened. Didn't you go past the pit lane entry, and then try and reverse and go back in? I think if you go past it, and then try and reverse and go back in, it won't let you. So I think that might have been what happened. Yeah, Calster. I remember Calster and um, Carl Lamb, like, nose to tail for the entire race. Ridiculous. It was like an eight hour race and it went down to the final straight. Absolutely mental. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. Buy a ticket to the Shadow Realm. Oh. Are they 200 Mexican uh, dollars? I didn't know that. I'll go and buy one, mate. Thanks. Thank you so much. Tickets to the Shadow Realm. I'll go and buy one after this race. Maybe I'll buy one in, in the race. 
I get punted. Get it for free. Get it. Hey, Lewis. This is Super Earther. Crew 2. Um, I did one live stream on it. I looked at the Laguna Seca and I was a bit like... Mm. Um, I have tried it. It's just... It's not my kind of game. I don't like the physics on it, really. I know it's not really about that, but I like games with like good physics where you can race close. There's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Thank you, Ricky, man. Let me read that in a moment, because I'm kind of preoccupied at this current second. But thank you very much, Ricky. Knock on effect. Don't lose that call of yours, okay. Close race. That GTR is just going to drive off now. Things are rocket. Getting fighty up there for the lead. Come on, give me a slipstream. I'm going to give this position back to this guy because I did nudge him. I'm going to get it anyway. How did he get that much? Oh, God. Oh, hello. Andre. Tuck into this GTR slipstream. He's going to be so quick in a straight line. An absolute missile. Thank you very much, man. Glad you're liking the stream. I've really enjoyed this stream. I've, oh, I mean, I would say that when people donate, however, however much they are, but I, I genuinely mean it. It's been a fun one. Savage drift. I was going to comment on that drift, but then I got punted wide. Oh boy. Well, there we go. That was good, wasn't it? I was commenting on that beautiful drifted entry from that guy, but then I got slammed. And I'm in sixth. Long time donor, first time viewer. Here's to Autumn 2020. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the donation. The Mexican viewer gave me 200 for a Shadow Realm ticket. It looks like I got one at turn one. Slipstream. Okay, that's good. Good news. This Porsche is. I think it's not too bad in the straight line, but it's not the best. It does lack a little bit, especially against that Mercedes. It's coming. Be able to go up to four. Or, I don't know if I've. I don't know if I've got up to fourth there because that guy's got two seconds. Might be close. Go. 
it was very close. Just got it. There he is. Right, okay. Just stay in the slipstream. I'm very close to dropping the slipstream with the guy ahead, so. Crucial to this race, I think. Oh, I saw a missile on the radar. Dropping back. Thank you very much, Andre, for becoming a member. Much appreciated, mate. And thanks for the donation as well. Boss is that. Oh, they're fighting for the lead. I think it's going to be too late to try and catch up, though. Unless they do something really stupid. Stig's Hungarian cousin behind. GTR is going so defensive now. This car is so easy to drive. It really is a joy. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. And not to be outdone, we have another Andre. Thank you very much, another Andre, for becoming a member as well. I do appreciate that, mate. GTR is going to go defensive here. It's not a straight line speed to win. We get, look at how much we gained on that. We gained like a second and a half on the leaders. Well, it's actually a side on side drag race there. The GTR is going to win. Oh, yeah, okay. We just got the fastest lap. The guy ahead beat me and then I beat him back. That was a messy race. GTR. I reckon we could give the GTR a go. Zello iOS. Hey Super GT, this is my first time in one of your streams. Anyway, look. Thank you very I much. I went on man. the internet this week and I found this. Good to have you here and thank you, Harry White, for entering the shadow realm. Yeah, the stream's been going three hours now. Good luck driving the GTR. Bring it on. It's a challenge, isn't it? Let's do it. I just won in it. I think it's a bit um a bit of a boat through the Felipe baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Bit of a boat through the uh, tight twisty section. But what soundproofing do you use on the walls? Um Oh, let me find that for you. So this Allow me to just on Amazon link. I can't remember the name, but I... oh, actually, I think it's called Ar Arrow Zoom. Let me look at my orders. Maybe I didn't buy on eBay. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Yeah, it's Arrow Zoom. If you go on Google, type in Arrow Zoom, you should be able to find it. Um, it's like these triangular. Just kind of see it here. Triangular stuff. Um, thank you, Gobbo, for becoming a member as well. Plenty of members tonight. Good to see. Thank you, Sam Wiggin. Found the channel not long ago. Absolutely love it. Good stuff, man. Good to have you. 
Right, let's see what this car's all about around here then. Yeah, sorry, Streamlabs bot is a bit savage at times. I think what it is, is like, on the internet sometimes, depends where you are, but um, if you type a word and then a full stop, and then like another word without a space, it thinks you've posted a link. Sometimes. Depends on the website. It might be that. Matt Amos! How are you feeling, man? I thought, um, well, I thought, but you, when you will, he's like, oh god. Have you been ill these last few days? Maybe you're getting better. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Gerhard Krieger. Welcome to the welcome to the realm, my friends. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Whoa, hello. Ben Rand has also entered the shadow realm. Enjoy it, my friend. Enjoy your stay. Make yourself comfortable. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. <laughs> thank you, Ricky Lave. And thank you for your donation earlier as well. Oh my god, this thing. Just... Yeah, I see what you mean, Calster. This. Oh my god. Thank you, Louis Sendel. You see, what the most genuine guy on YouTube. Well. Maybe the last of a dying breed. Yeah, if you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. I appreciate that, Lewis. And, um... Bun Bun. Great balance and ABS tips. Yes, HMS Z4. Um... Yeah, it depends on the car. <laughs> Front gives you more bite. The car brakes quicker, but you get understeer a little bit. You can't trail brakes easily. Rear is more sort of stable, but the car can start oversteering. So it's up to you to work out what you want from the car. But a lot of the time, if it's the car is MR, so like the Audi R8 or an MR, the engine, engine in the middle, you put it to the front, because that car oversteers so much that you need to minimise the oversteer. I think front, front understeer, front gives you more understeer, and rear gives you more oversteer. So if a car oversteers too much, you want, you want more understeer. So you put it to the front. Um, and in terms of tyre wear, it's like, if, you're, if your rear tyres are wearing out too quick, put it towards the front. If your front tyres are wearing out too much, put it towards the back. That's a very sort of general rule of how to do it. Oh my, this car, <laughs> It is absolutely awful. It understeers and it oversteers. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Tony. And thank you again for that donation that you dropped earlier. And welcome to the great fan status of this channel. Thank you very much. It's broken. It's broken. Anti-school. It's off. Fuck! I've thought of making a racing team. Um, I've certainly thought about it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'd do it. I mean, <laughs> wow, where did that come from? I mean, technically we have um, R4M, <laughs> a bit of a joke race team, but something. Happy New Year from Maple Syrup Land. Thank you very much, Sean Tyler, man. I do appreciate a bit of that. Mr. Donation. Oh, did I? Sorry. Well, let me check that in a moment. Please get used to this car before we race it. So understeer. You have to brake really early. It's like turning a ship. But it turns slower than the Titanic. Luckily, there's no icebergs on this track. Come on. 
I had two tenths there. That could have been a 0.7. A 0.7 is not too bad in this car, I think. Try out the Huracan. Oh my god. You're asking a lot of me there, mate. I hate the Huracan. I just can't drive it. Like, for those of you who think the Audi R8 handles weirdly, try the Huracan. It's even worse. Now, this car understeers. The Huracan, like, massively oversteers. Massively. Now, yeah, I'm driving the Nissan GTR. The hefty chunk of Group 3. Absolute hefty chunk. Oh, my God, look at the understeer there. Takes about a week to turn around every corner. this one oh, I just not like that corner Birds eye, eye. Howdy, sailors. I am actually Captain Bird's Eye. Little known fact. Not many people know that, but it's true. Like 100%, I swear down a Manan's grave that I am actually um, Captain Bird's Eye. No word of a lie there, mate. Yar. Show me to the treasure. It's broken. It's broken. Anti stall. It's off. Fuck! Big plate of chicken adobo for a win. Hashtag Filipino gang. Big shout out to my Filipino fans. Thank you, Ricky. I don't know if you guys know about uh, a Filipino delicacy called balot. I was sickened when I saw it. It's um basically, imagine an egg, right? You just crack an egg, the yolk comes out. Nice. Cook an egg. I love having eggs. Or... You wait for the egg to hatch and then a chicken comes out and then you wait for the chicken to grow up and then you eat the chicken okay good either one of those perfectly acceptable um but then this balut balot like they wait for the egg like to develop a little bit so it's like it's, it's just got feathers and it's like fetus it's disgusting like why would you ever eat that I just saw it and I was like, when I went to Philippines, I've been there once because um, my mom is from the Philippines. So I went there once and I was like, I'm going to try like as many things as I can. I'll try different foods. But that I was like, no, you can't get me to eat that. Even if you paid me a billion pounds, I just like, no, nope, eating it. It probably is tasty. Like, it's just like the way that you grow up. Like for me, it's like you eat an egg or you eat a chicken. Well, in Philippines, if you grow up thinking differently, then I suppose you're not going to think about it, are you? I mean, oh, I didn't warm up. What an idiot. I keep forgetting. Talking about Filipino food. Oh, well. This is going to be an absolute Felipe, disaster. Baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Is foot cam coming back? Toe reveal to start 2020. Um, I want it to. I'm trying to sort out my cameras. Um, I've just sent back my cam link, the Elgato cam link, which I normally use. You might notice this camera isn't as good quality as it normally is. I'm using a webcam now instead of my DSLR camera. Um, so I've just sent that back today, actually. Hopefully I can get it back in a few days. Anyway, look. And I went on the works. internet this week and I found this. I'm all for the balls. Thank you very much, man, for becoming a member. And Mr. Farage's got a donation coming up. 
Thank you very much, man. Um, if you can, yeah, TCS off is definitely better. So, yeah, try turning it off. Give it a go. See what see what we can come up with. Um, group four is a good class to practice in because it's quite easy with TCS off. I don't know if I've got the glitch. I don't think I have. Right. Praying to Moses. Be good to me, boy. I can't tell if I've got the glitch or not. Doesn't feel like I do. speed difference. Hungarian stick with the contact. Sorry mate. It takes a year for me to go around these corners so you have to be patient. Oh I've got it. Got the glitch. Thank you for this donation. Let me just get to the straight. Oh my god, this is a tough race. This car is a nightmare. It was about Foster. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting, mate. I, I would never eat it. I can't ever bring myself to eat a lot. Ever. Even if I was starving to death, I'd be like, I'd just rather die. Just let me die. Look at this speed. Oh, it's happening, mate. He didn't resist. Let it happen. Fastest group three on the straight. Um, I'd say either this, the GTR, or the McLaren F1. But you'd be surprised. I think some cars just, they are really quick, but they just take forever to get to their top speed. I think actually like the Huracan is probably really quick. I think it's actually one of the quicker cars in a straight line. But you have to just nail your corner exit to get it to get to that top speed. But um, in general, I'll say the Nissan GTR is definitely right up there. Oh, the full GT. Oh, what's happened there? He's gone wide. Full GT is quick, the straight line. That's always been a good car in the inner line. A couple of lunges. Guys. Building. That 10 second penalty. Ten seconds. Rip. RIP in peace, mate. Understeer, understeer, understeer. I'm pretty sure HMS Queen Elizabeth turns quicker than this. And it's lights out, and I'm Thank you very much, man. I'm from. I'm from the southeast of the UK. So I speak like fairly bog standard English. My my accent. It's not like uber posh or. It's not northern, so you can actually understand me. I reckon we can gain a position or two here.
I'll see you later, guys. It was nice knowing you. Oh, get into that corner, boy. Be a good boy. Turn in. This is a nightmare, this car. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going for it. This is my chance to catch up. They're going to fight. Oh, no. They're not going to fight. Let them straight through. That's how bad the GTR is. In the corners. Almost went off there. So that GTR is going to go back past the Audi, I think. And they're straight. Watch it go. Guys, murder! Oh, he's gone for the switch. That is a ch I love that. I love a bit of that. Gone for the cheeky switch back, and he's done it. That's a big balls move right there. Cheeky switch back. Sold him for chips. Capitalise. Oh, the GTR's off nearly. Well, something could happen here. You've always got to put yourself in with a chance of capitalising if other people mess up. Oh, he's got defensive. There's a slight contact. That's it, ram him off. Oh, what's, what's going on? Oh! Go for the cutback. Two second penalty! Come on, I can get the slipstream here. Oh. No! Yes! Get in there, Lewis! Get in there, Lewis. Fantastic drive, mate. Woo! That's what, that's, you know, Put yourself in with a chance, and you never know what might happen. There we go. I'm gonna give it the. Th Get in there, fantastic drive, mate. GG, everyone. Thanks for killing each other. Everyone, I think that's the theme of tonight. Everyone murdered each other. And I just came through and just got some good results. Chase cam hacks. It gave me about an extra 20 miles an hour and that's straight. Change to, change to chase cam. Number one tip. Up to uh, um, 911s. Oh man. Good stuff. That was good. How close was that? Yeah. Um, Point eight, or a tenth between myself and the R8 and the other guy. Um, well, I always want to start by saying big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Half a tenth, he got a two second penalty, so that would have been half a tenth. Have a piece of pie. I'm signing off. Good night. Thank you very much, Mr. Rontal Tap. Thanks for tuning in. We have a 3.14. Much appreciated. Thanks for tuning in. Huracan. Oh, God. Okay, coming in. One last race in the Lambo, the death machine. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Miracles do happen, mate. The no abuse Huracan. Here we go. This is where the death process begins. Thank you, Kenny D. Appreciate it, mate. Huracan, Huracan, Huracan. Get in there, Steve. Get in that Huracan, mate.
Yeah, I'll go all the way to the front in this car. This is like, it's like the R8 mid, uh, mid engine. You need front bias, oversteer, like lift off oversteer. So you go for a corner, you lift off the power, and the car goes, Whoop. the back end just, the back end's like, oh, see you later. I don't really fancy being stable. A Ferrari, yeah, Ferrari's worse. Ferrari, I kind of got used to the Ferrari because I, I drove as them for a season. Um, FIA's, the last season. I'm with, I'm with Lexus now. Okay, solution, never lift. There we go, Paul Swells, he knows. Like, the good racing drivers are constantly working out solutions to the problems. If it lifts, if it if it slides when you lift, don't lift. It's obvious, really, isn't it? Well, I'll whack that to the front. Right, well, coming in. If I can get sub 32 on this first lap, miracles do happen, mate. Just go full throttle the whole time. It's like, like, uh. Like, if, if you don't do that, you're just stupid, aren't you? Oh my god, it's just, it's all over the place. I, I think you do actually, you do need to keep like, just keep like 10% power. Just keep, keep the gas on a little bit. Keep it stable. Like mid corner. It's all about that acceleration phase, like how you how you deal with that. But this it's, it's a tricky car. But there's no doubt about it, mate. Oh, this is the corner. Abuse, abuse. It's the no abuse Lambo, but I'm abusing the limits. Keep it in there, mate. And I'll try. I'll do the warm-up this time. I won't talk about Filipino delicacies. Thank you, Theo. <laughs> I suppose it depends how close you get, isn't it? Oh, I'm not a sub day too. A noob. Come on. That's it. Get in there, Lewis. Same thing again. Oh, there we go. That's three tenths. Oh, thank you, Uriel, for the donations. Very nice of you. This corner here, this left hand up. Car just oversteers, oversteers, oversteers. Oh, that's not too bad. Let me read your comment in just a moment. Let me finish this lap. This car requires utmost um, concentration. I've got this game because of you. Motorsport grew on me. Thank you very much. It's good to hear that. I think motorsport is like... I think a lot of people look at it and think, oh, it's boring. I think you should have to think about it in the right way. Motorsport can be very interesting if you if you're not into it in the first place. It's just like how you think of it. Because I'm sure there's lots of people who would watch F1 and be like, yeah, motorsport's rubbish. But, I don't know. You have to think of motorsport in the right way and then it can be very fun. I've done the 31.9. It's like... Mm, not 
right. Yeah, the overseer is just ridiculous. It's that left hander in the middle. Miracle still out the bank. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, man, Balot is like, it's a crime against humanity, to be honest. It's a crime against chickens as well. I mean, at least, at least let the chicken hatch, let it make some more eggs, and then we'll just eat the chicken, you know? Spaghetti bowl, thank you very much, man. Good to see you in here. Gonna be what point? Uh, nearly a point seven. You know, will we just? We're six. Nice. Okay, it's just trying to do that consistently. It's like nigh on impossible. Look at that, it's just sliding through there. Oh, is it duck? The lot is duck. I need to get it right, mate, don't I? There we go, there's another tenth. If I could do a point five. I hooked up a lap. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. That's the best entry I've ever done of all time. Two tenths up. Okay, I could have done a point. I could have done a point four nearly. That was erotic, but I deserved a dab. Is it was that good? Big dab. Okay, who have we got? RCF and pole. The GTR in front. Mostly the same guys. Warm up. With a warm up. Okay. I think that was a deserved dab. 100%. This car's going to be really hard to drive in the slipstream. A dirty air. Right, warm up. Go. Get out of here. That dab made me throw up. Apologies. I do apologise, man. Sorry. I exceeded my quota of dabs. The, the pole is on pole, actually, for this race. I just drive on pole position. Nice. Get a cyber truck. I actually quite like the cyber truck. I mean, I have no use for a truck, if I'm honest. I just do not need a truck. <laughs> I followed him in. I mean, I, I, I don't need a truck. I have no use for it, but I kind of like it. I drove a Tesla. It's broken! It's broken! And it's off. It's off. Fuck! Where's the new Tesla coming? Thank you, Mark Lewis. Um, I'm not sure. Which is the new one? Isn't the S and the X already here? Cybertruck, do you mean? I don't know if there's something in the UK. Um, but I drove a Model S. Yes, was it yes? Yeah, yesterday. It is seriously rapid. Like I've never felt a car with that rapid. It's just instant power. Like you tap the power, and it's like it's just in, instant acceleration. It's crazy. Right, seventh on the grid in the Huracan. I think if I just don't die, I think that's a that's an achievement. I'll unlock an achievement on a PS4 game. Like that's how good it will be. Thank you, Eamon. GT Roy, our last person standing. Be interesting. I'm not sure how that would work exactly. I've got some fun ideas, though, for ramming races. So stay tuned very soon. I'm going to do a live stream and do a video, I think, as well.
So I've got this idea with the new. Um, you know, there's all this, the new safety cars in the game. I was thinking of doing like a, a ramming race, where one person is in a normal car, and they have to they have to do a lap. Let's say Laguna Seca, for example. They have to do a lap as quickly as possible, but everyone in the safety cars has to smash the crap out of them and stop them, like block them, ram them, pin them against the wall. So one person's on their own and everyone else has to try and stop them from lapping as quickly as they can. So it might take like five minutes to do one lap. Savage lunch. Let's get back on this train. Wow. Think about Foster. Where did that come from? I'd love to be involved in your ramming idea. I'm sure there'll be lots of people wanting to do it. Felton, his mate, as always. And if you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, luckily, northern messages don't translate through the chat. You can, um, you can read northern people on text. Oi, get that, get that down. Should be COYG, mate. To be fair, like, apart from Liverpool, most teams are sort of bottling it this year, big time. Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Tottenham, even Man City. Everyone's a bit crap this season. It's kicking off there for second, or is that third? God, come on. That was the leader there in sixth place in the Lexus. He's getting absolutely battered. One thing for certain, which is, I do not like this car. Leicester Wolves and Sheffield, yeah, yeah, those three teams are doing really well. Leicester, bang on it. Sheffield are doing really well, and Wolves, yeah. All Went inside the top half. Fair play to him, you know. Oh, penalty for the finish driver. on the edge there. Didn't have much space. Give me that slip string. Still two laps of this race, my god. This is hard work driving this car, it really is. Oh, who's that? Oh, I finished driving. I'm in sixth. There's a podium in sight. Come on.
see the track there. It's weird, this car light, it doesn't actually turn that well unless you slide it a little bit. But it likes to be slid. You have to slide it into the DMs, otherwise it doesn't work. an awful ember. Oh no! <laughs> oh well. Wasn't to be. Had to go for it. Oh, you want to go some, do you? You want some, bro? There's a lunge. <laughs> Penalty. Mate, that was a fair move. Don't know what you want about. 100% clean. No hint of contact. One of the best moves I've done all day, actually. Oh god, here comes the Aston. Not that it matters because I've got a penalty, but... Look at that thing go. Oh, he's gone to that side. We're gonna do it. Oh! I beat him across the line, but it doesn't matter. Um, I hope you're up for doing your ramming events. Okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. Um, maybe I'll have to... What I'll do, I'll probably make a private room but then I'll put a code up on on Twitter or something so then you know the code to join yeah let's see what this guy says if anything but, uh, that car I <sighs> thanks to the clean race we ended on a low there. I think Ericsson hit us. Fantastic lunge, mate. Very much. Uh, Sean Tyler. What a G. Okay, we're calling it there, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of this live stream today. I really enjoyed it. Pretty good fun. Oh, he drove me off on purpose, but I mean, it was like I went for a strong move at turn one, and he went for a, a strong move, and I just, we were just hitting each other back, basically. But um, yeah, I've really enjoyed this one. It was really good fun. Um, Lots of good races, nearly four hours this live stream. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming next. I should have a video out tomorrow, and I'll probably stream on Monday. Probably. We'll see. Yeah, it was a good fun stream, a good way to start off 2020. It was a good stream. I very much enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thank you for all the donations and new members, of course. But thank you to everyone who's just tuned in. We had um, a good... 3,000 for most of it. I think it was like 3,600 plus. So it was it was good fun. Um, that that uh, Tokyo race, the first one in the 2086, I mean, what the hell? That was... I can't believe how crazy that race was. I think it might deserve a video. In it. But um, thanks for being part of the stream, everyone. Um, take care.
take care and see you all around very soon. Much appreciated. Bye-bye.